I'd like to welcome to the stage Richard Lee from Baidu. And uh, Richard's going to also be telling us uh, about the future direction of Baidu. Uh, so thank you. And uh, actually, we'll open it up to some Q&A for this, too, if we have time. So uh, uh, keep your questions warmed up, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not, not talking about Baidu's future. That's Robin's job. I'm talking about how we're going to do, I mean, what we're going to do in the international markets. I think that's okay, sure. Uh, my name is Richard. Uh, I'm responsible for the international business development and the marketing uh, in the global business unit in Baidu. So how many overseas markets is Baidu in now? Uh, it depends on I mean, what you understand, you know, why previously we understand that, especially like five, four, uh, four or five years ago, when we look at the market, we uh, look at it from the PC, I mean, uh, perspective. So we have some priority markets like uh, Brazil, like uh, Japan, and uh, Thailand, Egypt, and uh, Indonesia. These, those are the markets that we have chosen as testing water markets. How did Egypt get in there? Uh, Egypt, uh, it's, um, it's, it's so far so good. It's, uh, the users there, are, I think, are quite. Uh, we have uh, quite a lot of organic users in Egypt, while in other markets like in Japan, it's more difficult. And everybody knows that we started in Japan are as early as like 2008. But uh, it was we it was not a successful story as Robin expected. <coughs> he would he tend to think that Japan would be a little same like the, the story in China, right. so the language and the other issues, the Eastern culture. But actually, it's not. It's a totally different market, so we changed quite a little, little bit after some years. So, uh, so Egypt is good enough. Well, tell us how you changed in Japan. What what were the lessons there? Um, I mean, starting from 2008, and uh, Robin and the, uh, the, the the executives of the company, they thought that uh, we could do the same thing as we did in China, search engine, and the advanced search engine. You have like uh, like uh, the um, Postbar or like uh, uh, reading products and uh, UGC products. I mean, uh, user-generated products by any users like reading our novel, etc. Then, but it's different. In China, it's uh, I mean, nobody claims that the uh, I mean, uh, interactive copyrights. Uh, only a few of them, like Hang and others, they solve the problem. Says if they claim, Baidu has that kind of problem because we have the safe harbor principle in the internet industry. But in Japan, uh, if even user generated product to, I mean, the part of the novels to the internet, and uh, then still, I mean, you have problems. So I think, uh, starting from, I think, from 2011, we, 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 I think we hold a little bit about the search products in Japan. And the search is still there, but uh, we acquired a company called Simiji, that's uh, editing input method products. And we stopped from there. So that the organic, most of the users are organic users. And we have uh, over 10 million downloads for, for the Android site. And currently, the uh, monthly active users is around uh, 4 million. And uh, the, we also launched the, uh, the editor input method for the, the iPhone, the Apple products. And uh, starting from the, the very first day, we were the editor's choice in Japan. And uh, altogether, these two products, we have over Six million monthly active users. We have another navigating product called How One Two Three. That's also in China, and that product so we have around three million uh, monthly active users. But uh, it's quite profitable because the up value in Japan is quite high, and uh, we we are considering a more, I mean, a, a more specific rails like uh, putting, I mean. Uh, I mean, uh, launching services that uh, a kind of platform that can help people connect the, I mean, uh, services, connecting, connect, connecting people and the services. So we we're going to have some uh, uh, another, I mean, maybe next month about another, I mean, uh, acquisition project in Japan. Oh, so another maybe, acquisition in Japan. Uh, maybe yeah, okay. it's uh, it's not appropriate to announce now, but uh, you can look at it. Yeah, next month. Okay, next yeah. month, June. Yeah. Coming up very soon. So, of your overseas markets, which one is the largest, and would you say the most profitable, the most successful, 
So let's start with the largest first. Which one? If you had to rank them, where is Japan on this? Uh, this it's uh, it's still very far. I mean, uh, to say that whether it's successful. Yeah. I think we are still, but we still on our way. I mean, uh. Uh, so one, of, of all the overseas markets, yeah, which is the biggest one? Uh, if you look at the, uh, uh, I should say this way, because uh, the industry is quickly moving from PC, right. I mean focused, to mobile focused. So mobile internet is actually uh, the, 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 the whole, I mean uh, the whole, I mean uh, uh, thing is different from the PC side. And uh, in a PC, I mean a uh, time, which I call time because uh, I think uh, that's quite some, for me. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's more important. I mean, three years or four years ago, but right now we are quickly changing our role into a mobile-first company. So even mobile has a no boundary. I mean, a uh, product. If you start from from Beijing, doesn't matter whether you start from New York or, first, or start from Beijing. You have Google Play as the only platform to for people to download the products. So we have several. Uh, utility category products like the Dual Battery Receiver and uh, Dual Speed Booster and also ES Fire. Those products are the top products in the utility categories in the Google Play. And altogether, our mobile products have over 210 million uh, monthly active users. And these users actually is uh, also, I mean, quickly, uh, uh, I mean, rewarding us. We have uh, cooperating with uh, Facebook using Facebook's audience network. So it's uh, it's quite good so far so I mean so good. So if I cannot see which market is is the worst we are doing more successfully. I think it would be if you see large market I would say uh, from in a PC size PC I mean uh focus if we take PC focus I would say Brazil and uh, <coughs> is the largest market for us. We have a lot of products in Brazil. But if you look at the mobile internet age, I think Indonesia and uh, India and uh, the United States are the top three important markets for us, both from the, the perspective of uh, user acquisition and also the potential revenue generating. I mean, uh, these markets, even in India, we, we never expected that uh, India could be our, a high, uh, not high, but uh, it's good enough at ECPM market mm -hmm. if we do the uh, monetization project with audience network from Facebook. It's quite good, you know. Yeah, I'm not surprised about India and Indonesia, but the U.S. market is up there among the... Um, U.S. market, because um, we, we, both for both Speed Booster and the battery saver and even ES Fire, these products are used by quite a lot of Americans. So uh, if you look at the APP Annie, you can find the figures. The, these are the top utility capital products. And these, because this, is like, like US, is a high up, I mean, up market. So a lot of people using Facebook. So uh, using the Facebook audience network, you have to to, to, to satisfy two. One is that you have to be the uh, the the your products has has to be overlapping with a Facebook user. That means uh, uh, Facebook only. Uh, I mean. Uh, does this with the uh, with the, uh, I mean a handset with both our uh, app and the Facebook here. So US for us, it's uh, at least from current stage we we can see it's good enough. Yeah. How how many overseas markets is Baidu in now? Uh, it's about a handful, right? Robin would uh, back to uh, several years ago. Robin has a name. I said a dream that uh, by I mean, working for 10 years that Baidu will, will, will create another Baidu, I mean, outside China. Right. And the Baidu would become a household name in over uh, half of the countries worldwide. That's uh, back to like uh, 2009. But actually, by current stage, we have already in over 200, 200 countries. That is, the Baidu <laughs> apps are already used by users from over 200 countries. Okay. So it's different, uh, I mean, a scenario, it's different, uh, I mean, a uh, story. I mean, uh, in a mobile, in a mobile yeah. age. Well, it's a much more diversified product line now too, so you can you have many more chances to go to many new markets then. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we are, we are. I mean, I uh, even right now we are trying to boost like India. Yeah, we have uh, previously we have subsidiaries. I do fully host subsidiaries in 
Brazil, Japan, Thailand, Egypt, and uh, we're going to build a new one in India. This, really? I mean, the most recent. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, what is the next uh, market? What is the market that you've not tapped yet that you want to tap? Uh, first, I want to say that we, we we're going to be a mobile first company. In China, we're already a mobile first company. But even outside China, we we think PC, even search engine, would be more difficult. And uh, I mean, branded names like Google is already there, and even Yahoo and others. But uh, we, we have our search engines in Brazil and in Thailand and in, in Egypt. But uh, we think uh, there will be more opportunities in the, uh, I mean, uh, O2O markets, online to offline. We even acquired a company in Brazil last year called Berger Blanc. That's the, 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 that's the biggest, uh, I mean, domestic group on business uh, provider in Brazil. But, uh, when we acquired it, uh, Groupon is the biggest one, with over 60% market share. We have only a, around over, a little over 30%. But uh, uh, after eight months, we have already been, I mean, number one. If, uh, if I remember correctly, it's uh, close to Groupon in market share, 50 to 50, something like that. Yeah, so it's, uh, uh, there are quite a lot of opportunities in the mobile internet age, like especially O2O, because we think connecting people and services would be the main story in the next stage, like as in the U.S. and China. So uh, this, we think, requires a lot of ground, what Robin calls dirty work, dirty and hard work. You have to, 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 to go to the ground and to fight, uh, I mean, uh, bit by bit with like each cinema, it goes to each cinema, it goes to each restaurant, they ask me, hey, why not join in our platform? And we can bring, I mean, uh, uh, users to you, and we can bring, bring, I mean, traffic to you. So this, we think, uh, would, be, uh, would be the next opportunity for Baidu, international business, to try to do that. So you mentioned a couple of acquisitions. Is acquisitions, uh, are they gonna lead uh, the way for the international expansion? or? Is it some organic growth as well? Uh, how does that play out? Uh, I think I was, uh, yeah, merge and acquisition would, uh, at least I can say merge and acquisition would play a much more important role in the next stage. And uh, our strategy, I guess, I think, I, I would call it in three uh, stages. In the first stage, we, we, we acquire users. So that's our own apps, our own products in different markets and that people use it and feel the benefits of using these products. And the second stage, we're trying to create a platform, uh, whether it's an advertising platform, a user platform. This platform, we're trying to, uh, there will be a lot of users in, I mean, in that platform, the user product, and also there are a lot of uh, partners in that platform to uh, I mean, uh, benefit from the partnership with us. And the third stage will be the kind of ecosystems, that is uh, uh, like the other companies have been doing in the industry. So by doing, it's also trying to create an, or, or with our partners together, create an ecosystem in different markets. Like in Indonesia, we have a browser, we have do series, do speed booster, do battery saver, we have the alpha, have a click on you, the social products. And uh, so we have some uh, priority markets, but uh, in these markets, we're trying to uh, do more acquisition, merging acquisitions, and uh, have more partnerships with local companies, and try to create an ecosystem in the long term. So this is a international, I mean, an expansion project. This is one of Robin's dreams. He would uh, look at it uh, in the long term and a strategic investment in that way. Yeah. And how does the U.S. market factor in? Uh, U.S. market, I think, uh, would be one of the important markets for us. Uh, especially if uh, if you look at it from the PC side, it's almost uh, very very difficult. But if you look at it in the mobile age, I mean, like uh, uh, last month I went to Facebook. I took part in the uh, F8. I mean, uh, the and uh, this weekend I I will go into the Silicon Valley again to take part in Google. I mean, the I/O, the uh, the uh, the I mean, uh, conference Google. Uh, the developers conference. I, I think uh, America is still the focus of our, of our creative products and, uh, and there are a lot of tech companies generated from Silicon Valley and the whole US. I think uh, there are still, even the competition is very strong there, but I mean still there is uh, great opportunities for small companies like uh, I mean any developers in from China. But I do, we cannot say that it's small companies. Uh, Company with uh, Nasdaq listed is over 60 billion 
I mean, the US dollar market value there. But still, we, as from the point of international business, we still take us as a startup companies. So our president of a global business unit, John Zhe Hu, always telling us that uh, we have uh, Baidu behind us as the mother company, but we are a, a startup company. We need to consider every, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, a uh, strategy, every, I mean, a uh, single, I mean, a uh, country to consider those from a startup company's point of view too. Consider that opportunity. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Uh, what are the main things that you're learning from Google and Facebook? I think these are great uh, companies. Some of them are competitors, but uh, uh, while at one time we're competitors, but also we are we are partners. We are, I mean, uh, app developers for both Google. I mean, uh, and uh, for we are also for Google. I mean, uh, we are also our partners for Facebook. I mean, uh, we use Facebook to acquire users. We, we use Google AdWords to uh, acquire, I mean, uh, high quality users in the states and also in other places as well. I think, uh, yeah, competition is one thing, but the we I think the companies are learning from each other. I think uh, I heard that uh, uh, even Google, I mean, uh, internally that uh, think that uh, Baidu. Uh, search engine has its own characteristics like our, our Aladdin. Aladdin is a platform that uh, <coughs> local partners be directly accessed into Baidu search engine platform. Then when users go to Aladdin, they directly from the Baidu platform access into the Aladdin uh, partners uh, platforms. So uh, the, I think the, these, uh, these things, I mean... Are you going to do driverless cars? The driverless cars, uh, by the is doing. I mean, uh, doing some. It is doing. Op, I mean, uh, some auto driving cars. Yeah, we are, We have uh, yeah. Also, like a big. Uh, I mean, Silicon Valley office in Sunnyvale. I mean, uh, Andrew Nee is one of our, our uh, yeah uh, pioneer. I mean, a scientist in Silicon Valley. I mean, uh, using like uh, artificial intelligence, etc., to help the company in the next few years, even ten years long term, to. To, to, to enable us to be at the age of uh, technology innovation. I think uh, we're doing a lot. Like we have some product like a do bike. It's a, it's, it's a bike with intelligent uh, I mean, uh, uh, ways of helping people managing health or sports, etc. We have a bike called do I. It's by do I. It's a product using the uh, cloud service and uh, you use the, the by do I. If you don't know, like for example, a, a plant, you, in front of you and take pictures through the Baidu Eye, then the uh, Baidu Eye using the data behind it will tell you what is this plant is. So this is kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, we're using the technology in our, I mean, uh, current platforms. Right. So we're doing a lot of things there. Well, that's an amazing product of diversification. You could never have imagined that from search 10 years ago, right? Yeah. Um, so what's next? Is there uh, what would you say is the most successful new product or product diversification? You know, outside of search, and how has that transformation happened? And uh, where would you say you are on the uh, continuum? Uh, yeah, in China we're doing a lot. I mean, in, in those different uh, sectors, but uh, I think the two areas I would like to 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 strengthen. One is the, the image search. The other is voice. I mean a search because uh, we, we right now if you do search you know you, you have to, to put I mean keywords but for people who are who don't who do not have uh, enough education they might uh, be able to use like image search uh, using their handsets uh, in, I mean it's available right now but uh, in two to three years uh, maybe it will be mature products people they don't have to uh, I mean uh, input the words or they just utter their language and then the uh, the, the, your handsets, I mean, recognize the uh, what you are looking for and tells you, I mean, the answer. And for any search, I mean, the artificial, artificial intelligence, I mean, is helping us and big data, all this are helping us, I mean, uh, a lot. In, so in uh, the next stage, well, you will, you can expect a much smarter, much intelligent, much more intelligent search engine in that, I mean, in this scenario. I think this is uh, artificial intelligence uh, meets search. Uh, <laughs> artificial intelligence, I mean, is helping search engine, current search engine, yeah. to be much more smarter. Sure. I would say that sure. way, yeah. Okay. Any questions from the audience? Uh, let's get a mic uh, to Andy. Uh, hold on one second.
really a fascinating overview of what's going on in Baidu. Um, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about um, Baidu's uh, investment in Uber and whether you see that as having any uh, impact outside of China. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's about two, two to three months ago. Robin himself signed a deal with uh, the president and CEO of Uber. And uh, we have a uh, broad partnership, not only in China, but also in outside China, in the international markets. I think Uber uh, I think uh, can I mean, uh, make fully use of Baidu's advantage in the China market and see, I mean, uh, Uber to be uh, a good competition, I mean, uh, with like uh, DD and, uh, and, and Edar and other, I mean, uh, such services. I mean, that's previously, currently Baidu is, is I think, is uh, doing more aggressively than uh, a few months ago. We, 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 we actually, uh, we are more proactive in this contribution to the Uber business in China. This is a more close partnership, in my understanding. So you can expect, if you try Uber, Uber services in China, you will find it out that uh, it's more aggressive if you recently try Uber services. Because Baidu is uh, contributing a lot inside that deal. And outside China, we are also working with Uber. Like in Brazil, we have some, uh, we have uh, using Uber. Everybody, I mean, anybody who uses uh, Uber comes to PU that we give, and then we give the PU coupon to <coughs> the Uber users in, if they, 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 they from our platform to get the Uber services. So we are already cooperating with Uber in Brazil. And I think the next stage, we're going to, uh, if it uh, turns out to be good enough, we will try to be in other markets as well. This is uh, already in the process. Interesting. Any other question? Um, if not, let's give Richard a round of applause. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Thank you.